When our Prophet ﷺ in the last phases of Mecca realized that he needed to migrate to another city, when he realized that he couldn't live in Mecca for too long, he started approaching the other tribes, trying to get some tribe to sponsor him, trying to get some tribe to get him you know, away from the Quraysh. And he would go and target the famous tribes, the powerful tribes. It made sense. You target the tribes that are established. He would target the Hawazin, the Kinda. These are names of tribes that have tens of thousands of people. They have large settlements. And one day, as he's laying out his plan, and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was his main secretary, and saying, okay, we're going to go today to this tribe, and we're going to go to that tribe. And he mentions two of the big tribes they're going to talk to. And the goal of talking to them was to see if they would be willing for the process to migrate from Mecca to their lands. So one day, they have the agenda between tribe A and tribe B. And these are big, massive tribes. And as they're walking, the Prophet sees a group of five people sitting in the middle of nowhere, in Mina in the days of Hajj. And he asks, who are you? They said, oh, we are from the tribe of the Khazraj. Khazraj, this isn't one of the big names. It's not one of the famous tribes. Even the process in his brain is thinking, Khazraj, which Khazraj? Oh, the Khazraj of Yathrib. Is that Khazraj? The Khazraj of the city of Yathrib. Remember, Medina was called... Yathrib, before it was called Medina. The Khazraj of Yathrib. They said, yes, yes, the Khazraj of Yathrib, that one. So the Prophet said, can I sit with you? Do you have some time? They said, sure, sit down. Realize, this wasn't on the agenda. The Khazraj was not on the plan. The plan was the big tribes, the fancy tribes. And that makes sense. When you want to approach people for protection, you go to the big shots. Total sense. But here's the point. Now you have an opportunity to do some good. Do it. Let Allah take care of their results. The Prophet ﷺ sat down with the Khazraj. He gave them the call to Islam. With the same passion, the same sincerity, the same pure ikhlas that only he has, that he also gave to the larger tribes. And they thanked him and life went on. He didn't even think about that. Life goes on. But subhanAllah, as we all know where this is heading, that small seed of Islam that was planted in those people quite literally changed the course of history. Those five people, they went back, some of them converted, and they began preaching to their fellow tribesmen in Yathrib. The next year, 70 people came as Muslims. The next year, they demanded the Prophet ﷺ, come back with us, for how long will you be persecuted in Mecca? We shall take care of you. So much so, when the Prophet ﷺ preached to them, those five people, Allah showed him a dream. And He showed him the city of Medina. And Allah said to the Prophet ﷺ in a dream, this is where you're going to migrate. But the Prophet ﷺ didn't put one plus one together. He didn't, put, he didn't think of the Khazraj. And he thought, maybe the people of Yemen that I had spoken to, the big guys, one of those big tribes, they're going to convert. Because Yemen was also green and luscious. When he saw Medina, he didn't see a nameplate of Medina, he saw date palms, and he saw water wells, and that's not Mecca. And the voice said to him, this is where you're going to migrate. The Prophet ﷺ said, when I saw the dream, my imagination and my desires went to Yemen. But lo and behold, it turned out it was Yathrib or Medina. Meaning, even the Prophet ﷺ did not recognize what had just happened with the Khazraj. He didn't recognize it. Until the Khazraj came back, and they then said, you're going to come with us. We're not going to let you be persecuted. We're not going to let the Muslims be killed in Mecca. We will give you our safety and our promise. And the rest, as we quite literally know, is history. Literally, the history of Islam changed because of the hijrah, because from weakness to power, from having no state to being the leader of the state, etc., etc. How did that begin? Once again, there's this minor act over here, and that is the act of preaching to people that weren't even on the agenda. An opportunity came to do good, and the Prophet ﷺ did it.